What's going on YouTube? Mr. Anderson528 here and today we are going to be looking at the Arcos 101 internet tablet. Now I did not do an unboxing of this. Um, there's a friend of mine who did an unboxing video if you want to go see that. His game, his uh, I was about to say gamertag. His uh, username will be in the description. He's a cool guy. He makes cases and stuff for it. And he has a cool video about how to put it in uh, an NES ROM with a remote on it. So if you already have one and you want that, you go check it out. I'll put um, his username in the description box. Anyway, so here are, this is the Arcos 101. It is a very light and thin device. I have it on the kickstand right now. And as you may see, it's at a pretty bad angle right now. That's, I'll get to the kickstand in a second. But there's the device. And so there are no buttons on the bottom, top, or right side. All of the bottom, all of the buttons on the left side. We have a volume rocker, on and off switch, um, a standard headphone jack, USB 2.0, a micro SD slot, <coughs> excuse me, a mini um, USB port, an H uh, mini HDMI port, and then the uh, AC adapter uh, port. So let's turn it on. Here is the home screen. I have it set to a password. So here's the main menu. Now I am very new to Android, so I'm learning things every day about it. I was, you know, I was an Apple fanboy pretty much. So this is my first time with a Android device. And let me tell you, I am very satisfied with it. Um, I did have some problems with it, um, but I got that all figured out. I was this close to sending it in, and luckily I didn't because it works fine. So here's look at the menu. You li you like my wallpaper? <laughs> so it runs, I guess, like every other Android device. Like I said, this is my first time with it, so I can't really compare it to other Android devices considering I don't know what other Android devices are. But, um, you know, it has a notification thing. Pull that down. You know, you can do widgets. Hold the screen down. You know, I'm guessing this is what every other Android device does. Like I said, I can't really compare. So you have to bear with me on that. I can compare it to, however, an iPad. And I know that some people do this and they think that this sucks compared to the iPad. You know, this has a webcam. You know, the iPad doesn't. It has a USB slot. It has everything the iPad should have had. But, um, anyway. It, so it's a 10.1 capacitive screen. And, um, yeah, it runs like every other Android. Um, you know, and you can do your basic stuff that any other iPod would do, and a lot more. So you can have your music, your video, and your pictures, of course. And you have what is called the Apps Lib App Store. This comes with the device if you choose to download third party applications. And it's okay. Obviously, it's not going to be too great. It's not full Android. You can, however, get the full Android market. And that's what I've done. If you have troubles with that, um, just send me or a comment and I will show you personally how to get the Android Marketplace on your Arcos 101. And um, this is 2.2 Froyo. I'll just show you that right quick. Two point two point one. And it's a very, it runs smooth. If you have too many applications open, you might have a little bit of lag, but that's no problem because you can just go to the system monitor, stop all your program, and then it runs pretty flawlessly. As you can see, it is a, pretty, a lot snappier. I had a lot of things open, and that was to show you how, you know, snappier it now moves. So, with the Android Marketplace, you have every application that the standard Android Marketplace has. Um, compared to the, uh, the um, 
Apple Marketplace on the App Store on Apple, I find that the Android is a bit better. Um, because some apps that you would have to pay for on Apple are free, like Angry Birds. It's free on Android, and you have to pay for it on Apple. So that's that. And let me show you the camera. The camera's okay. It um, it's pretty good, uh, I guess. I mean, it's not the best, obviously. It um, I find I think it runs pretty smoothly, and um, you know, it's pretty. It's, it's, it it works well. This isn't. It's only front facing, so you won't be taking pictures of things in front of you. Um, you can webcam chat. I have been having some troubles with that myself, and um, it's with uh, this application called Fring that comes on the device if you choose to download third-party applications. And I just haven't gotten it to work. I can call someone, and I can um, like I am them through this, but I cannot video chat for some reason. The app will crash. And let me get to the kickstand now. The kickstand here is in my I guess this one I've kind of used it a lot so I guess it does have some wear and tear but um I expected a little more it were, it was very sturdy in the beginning but then after you start using it it gets really really flimsy I'm barely touching this thing and it moves it, it literally won't even support itself watch and I'm like, see, it, it literally is not supporting itself. I don't want to let it go and have it snap. But you, it literally can't support itself. I'm, I'm not pushing it, by the way. I mean, it, it can't support itself. So this is the only viewing angle I can have. And um, I actually got a text message from Anthony. And this will be a good time to show you the keyboard. He said, hey, what's up? Hey. Making... a YouTube video. You're in it. So, the keyboard is nice. There it is right there. It's on screen, touch screen. Um, with the Android keyboard on this 10.1 inch screen device, it can be a little weird to hold it like this. Let's see if I can, like this, and have your thumbs here, because then you'll have to, um, and I have some pretty big sized hands, I would have to say, and, you know, it, and you'll sometimes hit the period button when you're trying to hit the space bar, but you can download other keyboards from the um, uh, Android Marketplace and um, I think it runs pretty nice and so there it is and like I said the I am for freeing I am and call work but video doesn't for some reason but anyway now let's do the browser. Right now I have the Dolphin Browser HD. It um it's a cool it's a cool browser, it's from the market marketplace. I guess to be fair, I'll show you the actual browser that comes with the device. Here's the actual browser. And this is full browser. So let's go and do let's go to the Arcos um website. pretty quick. Um, I, I find it pretty fast. You can do pinch to zoom. Works pretty pretty well. This is flash enabled. You can double tap and pinch to zoom is very smooth. You, it really works. And I'll show you one more site. New York Times dot com. Sorry, I guess I should invest in a tripod. A 
below that right quick. And I think it loads pretty fast, considering how big the page is. Very nice. Now, this device is an ebook reader. It, um, you can download books and whatnot. Anything Android device would do, this does. Um, I am very happy with the device. Besides the kickstand, the kickstand is a bit flimsy, but that would probably have to be the biggest con. So, um, this is the Arcos 101 internet tablet, and this is Mr. Anderson, and I'll see you guys later. And by the way, sorry, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment or send me a personal message. See you guys later.